Hey, what's up, guys? This is a video response, but really just a continuation of the discussion that Captain Burrs and Digital have been talking about. And largely, I agree with both of them. Uh, Captain Burrs made some good points, so did Digital. But uh, what I wanted to talk about a little bit, and it's not really continuing anything they've said, it's just to kind of peel back the onion a little bit more. Um, when you're talking about the contraception issue in Southern California, for example, as most of you know, probably, if you've been reading up on this topic, there was a memo that was released from the Pope uh, to the diocese, and the information there basically discussed the whole Catholic stance on how they feel versus con uh, involving contraception, so on and so forth. And in California, the statistics show, or at least what they're reporting, is that roughly only 30% of the church-going Catholics knew of such a memo and had actually heard or was received the information in that memo via, you know, normal Catholic uh, services. So one starts to use that, some, some use that to basically point to the fact that, you know, within Catholicism itself, the people are divided and they disagree on some things. And, and even to the bishop level, you know, as you go higher and higher all the way up to the pope, there's dissension in certain agreements and thoughts and all that. And it comes down to even really scientific details, like the difference between an I E an IUD, <laughs> not an IED, an IUD uh, versus, you know, form a regular pill as far as which one is technically more legal sin-wise to, uh, to Catholics than the other. You know, for example, an IUD doesn't prevent conception, it only prevents the embedding of the egg in the uterine wall, right? A little bit of detail there for you. Um, but, you know, to get back to the point of it, okay, so religion is about discussion a lot of times. In some cases, you're not supposed to refute what's in the Bible or whatnot, but it always leads to discussion with your priest or pastor or whoever. Um, but the point that Burrs makes is, is you're talking about where they meet, right? Because this is really ultimately dis a discussion of government over here and religion as, a, as an entity over here. Where they meet is that the religion has a business, in this case uh, the Catholics, with their um, hospitals. So do they have the obligation to provide contraception? And ideally the answer should be no. The answer should be no because of our free market culture and how our free market culture allows or should allow for anyone who owns a business to make certain decisions that would behoove their business the best. And that doesn't mean just from a profit-making standpoint, but from those certain things that the business owner can leverage for the employees that the employees can't do on their own. Specifically, what am I talking about? Captain Burrs mentioned that, you know, um, having a system where the business owner reduces the pay of the employee to give that employee medical insurance, that is a true statement. Employees make less when there is medical insurance provided. But in a free market system, kind of like what we have in this particular instance, even though we don't have uh, free competition, the shop owner or the business owner, he can leverage a higher employee base that the single employee can't get in terms of pricing for insurance. So five employees, 10 employees, 500 employees, 10,000 employees, as the number goes up and if those, if that employer is shopping for the large group, they can reduce the prices via, you know, a business to business transaction of insurance to the original business owner, they can reduce the cost of insurance down. That behooves the employee, and it, it, be, it, it behooves the employer because now they have an employee base of people who are uh, gamefully employed, hopefully, and also healthily employed, which, you know, is a major concern for a lot of not only, you know, blue-collar workers, but white-collar workers are also increasingly getting sick from their white-collar work, sitting in front of a computer and whatnot. So the free market, if you try and 
at a government level, right? Because this is really the two things coming together. If, if at the government level we can say, look, as long as the business owner is not breaking a law, committing a crime, or harming an employee, then they shouldn't be forcing or mandating many things upon that business other than basically the laws that are laid forth to prevent criminal, specifically criminal charges, crime. So in the end, I think it, it is less of a religious issue. And I think that there are large parties both on the pro-religion side, which I, I don't mean pro-religion, I just mean religious side, and the very anti-religion, particularly the anti-religion, that want to pull Catholicism into it, because really it's a, it's a clear-cut case. Um, from a, a religious standpoint, the Catholics have the right and the freedom to pursue any religion that they want, or uh, whatever within their religion that they like, as long as it's not breaking a law. And the money that comes in from operating those Catholic businesses still operate under a certain set of rules or behaviors that are governed by that Catholic Church. So there is a connection between the religion and the business, and there's nothing against that in our Constitution. The only thing that there is a separation of is the Church and the government. So. Again, as long as the church, through its business, is not committing a crime, there really shouldn't be a problem with what they decide to do. Um, and again, the employer has the ultimate right at the end of the day that if they don't like the policies set forth by the Catholic Church, they can leave. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy on them, but if that one single item, the lack of contraception, even though it's something that's less than $100 to purchase in most cases, is a major issue to them, then that is a central ethical point of their lives. And they are diametrically opposed to the Catholic Church, who's against those things. Anyway, th that's my opinion to hopefully stimulate more discussion, because I, I, this is a pretty good discussion, mainly because it's it's... It's a spot where you can take the religion on one end and the government on the other, and you can see that central spot, which is the business ran by the government, and then you can use that as kind of a, a discussion point for talking about the free market and how it should work. And it leads you to other topics, like, you know, I mentioned that, you know, yes, you get less in your wages, but with your combined bargaining power via your employer, you also get cheaper insurance. That's how competition should work in a lot of cases. So even if everybody had unrefuted insurance or you know, insurance companies could sell insurance across state lines without any issues legally and mainly you know, through government mandates, uh, the employers who band together either in their own group uh, to purchase insurance or through their employer, they're going to get a better deal. So. Anyway, something to think about, and I hope that this keeps the keep the, the discussion going. All right, guys, thanks a lot.